Okay, in this uh, clip, we're going to log in and actually get started building this call center. But let's uh, take a minute to review what we're doing here. We'll remind you that you can log in uh, to AWS and you could build this out with me. Uh, you will have a free tier that follows this uh, format. You get about 90 minutes a month free, you get a free DID. So this shouldn't cost you anything to build out. So if you want to follow along, uh, do so. You'll find it to be a rewarding experience. The basic configuration, uh, we're going to go into the portal. We're going to set up agents, supervisors, establish some ramp codes, set up the call flow. We'll keep it pretty basic, sales, support, operations, and a callback queue. We'll establish some prompts. We'll create the operating hours and the call flow for handling after hours phone calls. We'll set up the queues and we will test. So the build out steps, in a minute, uh, we're going to log into the portal and we will follow initially the uh, AWS recommended uh, setup process, uh, which is get the numbers, set the hours, create queues, create prompts, create flows, create profiles, and create users. As you build these call centers, you will find out that that's not really the best order to do things. It's uh, almost uh, invariably uh, important to do some other call flow planning before you actually start uh, creating your queues. And I don't know how many projects have gone sideways because people didn't take the time to think the prompts out before they started doing things. Having your prompts uh, at least written out in text format before you start with your uh, call flows will be very, very helpful, save you a lot of time. So the initial call flow, the call is going to come in. We're going to check the hours of operation figure out where we should send the call uh, for on hours and off hours. And again, uh, sales, support, uh, and callback will be the cues that we establish here. And uh, at this point, let's go ahead and log in uh, to your AWS portal, and we'll get started building this out. When you log into your portal, uh, go to services and you'll find an area called customer engagement click on amazon connect and you'll be inside the portal At that point just click on add an instance at this point uh, you have to give it uh, well first i point out that um, currently at the time this recording is made in the United States, the only option is U.S. East. Now, AWS uh, aggressively rolls out new services and regions. Generally, they start U.S. Uh, east. So uh, this may change depending on when you view this uh, video. But currently, U.S. East, Asia Pacific, and EU Frankfurt are the three options uh, that you can work with. So at this point, we need to, let's create uh, AWS uh, call center lesson two. And we'll go ahead and hit next. We'll create our admin login. And I guess I'll do it this way. Next, come on, go away, good. All right, so um, you have the option of setting it up for inbound calls or outbound calls or both. I can't understand why you would uh, select one over the other. It's just easy, select them both and let's get on with it. The next issue has to do with setting up data storage. 
by default, we're going to uh, create a number of um, S3 buckets for storing historical reports and recordings. So you can let AWS create that for you. Just click Next and you're done. Or you can uh, customize uh, and basically you can select an existing um, an existing instance or just go ahead and keep the ones they uh, have already offered you. So I'm going to go ahead and just allow AWS to go ahead and create um, an S3 bucket for us. And lastly, review and create. Make sure that uh, we know what we're doing here. We're going to get uh, this link. And at this point, we'll go ahead and create the instance. It takes a few minutes to create your instance. Um, and as soon as it comes back up, we'll continue. OK, at this point, uh, we have successfully created our AWS Connect instance. And just click here and get started. At this point, you are going to be welcomed. Let's go. And I want to uh, show you what, how quickly you can get a basic system online. We've established how we want this to work when we're finished. But at the moment, I just want you to realize how quickly you can bring this call center up. So um, at this point, we're going to select a country. And uh, not to be arrogant, but we're in the United States. And it's going to suggest a phone number. You can uh, change that, to find something else. But I'm going to go ahead and keep this number. And at that point, we now have a telephone number assigned to this uh, instance of the call center. Let me give you a quick overview here of the call center. We're in the dashboard, and this is how AWS suggests you proceed. We've already claimed the phone number. They want you to set up your hours of operation, create your queues, create your prompts, create your call flows, create some routing profiles, and then configure your users. And if you follow these uh, seven steps, you will have a call center up and fully operational. You can hide this guide by clicking here, in which case it's going to bring up a default dashboard. At the moment, we have nothing in the dashboard. But as we uh, roll out our um, call center details, you'll begin to see that you can use the dashboard for real-time metrics, among other things. So let's uh, quickly follow the uh, format that they've established. And uh, so I can demonstrate how quickly you can get this call center up. And then we'll come back in a subsequent uh, clip and start to customize uh, the uh, call flow to meet the uh, slides that we looked at earlier. OK, so at this point, we're going to view the hours of operation. And there is a default called basic hours. You can go in here and quickly change that. Uh, the default is uh, currently set for um, the Eastern Standard Time, and it is always open. Now, you can go ahead and modify these, uh, create start and stop dates. Uh, I'm going to, for purposes of demonstration, and I'll leave this just the way it is. The second step that they want you to um, follow if we go back to the dashboard is to create queues. So <clears throat> you can click on uh, learn more about queues. Um, but we're going to go ahead and create these queues. So there is a default uh, called basic queue. 
let's go ahead. We can just leave that. And again, I think it'd be uh, for purposes of demonstration. I just want to show you how fast we can get this going. So I'm just going to leave the basic queue. Okay. We'll come back later. We'll add additional queues. Um, going back to the dashboard. We now want to create some prompts. Um, what I have found to be very, very useful is the text-to-speech capability, especially when you're prototyping your call center. So here are prompts that come with the system, some basic uh, uh, customer queue prompts, some music on hold. You can create prompts, WAV files, and upload them. But I'll show you how we're going to uh, use text-to-speech to prototype. So uh, back to our dashboard. And at this point, we're going to create a contact flow. Again, there are default already established call flows here. And they are assigned to the default um, inbound call flow. So again, for purposes of discussion, we're not going to change any of this. We're going to leave this all here. I will point out that you can open up any one of these samples, create a copy of it, save it, and you know modify it to meet your specific uh, requirements. Again, for purposes of demo, we're just going to leave this uh, exactly the way it is. Um, next thing we're going to do here is create a routing profile. Uh, routing profiles basically enable you to lay out um, the various um, association between an incoming telephone number and the route that uh, you want the call to flow to. And in, uh, it also marries the users to that call flow. Again, for purposes of demonstration, to show you how quick we can get this call center up, we're going to go ahead and just um, leave the standard default. Configure users should be pretty uh, simple step. Uh, we've got the user that uh, I created when we created the instance. We can go ahead. We're going to go ahead and add users to this. Uh, but for purposes, again, of demonstration, we're just going to leave this alone. So if we go back to um, the guide here, you'll see that uh, we've pretty much completed this basic example. So if I click over here on the, um, let's go ahead and view telephone numbers again for a moment, forget what it was. So um, here's our telephone number. Let's go ahead and copy that telephone number. Boom. Let's um, go back to the dashboard. If you click up here in the corner, uh, you're going to bring up the control panel, which is essentially the agent soft phone. So if you, you have a choice, by the way, you can point to an actual physical instrument if you like, but in this instance, we're going to just use a USB headset plugged into this computer. I'm going to go ahead and um, bring up a telephone, and we'll go ahead and call the system. And hello, thanks for calling. These are some examples of the AWS Connect can enable you to do. Press 1 to be put in queue. So I'm going to go ahead and hit 1. And as you can see, the call is coming in, and I can answer it. OK. So we're in the basic queue. And you can see how the standard control panel works. So for purposes of demonstration, we have configured an entire call center and taken our first phone call in probably less than 30 minutes. So I hope you have found that uh, informative and
In the next clip, we'll begin to customize this call center instance and make it look like what we originally set out to do in the slide presentation. We'll add some uh, specific cues. We'll set up IVR. Um, we'll add agents. Um, and I'll show you some of the call flow routing options that we have to enable that. Later on in this uh, series, we'll do things like add a chat bot and uh, perhaps uh, do a data dip and use AWS Lambda to get some external information. I think you find it uh, interesting. I thank you for viewing. See you in the next clip.